In Ukraine, we say that uh, Russia's primary is going to focus on the um, uh, parliamentary elections. What do you think, um, if Russia active now, uh, before the European elections, uh, do they see the chances? Yes, I think that um, you know, I'm, I'm of American origin and we saw in the 2016 elections that the Russians actively meddled. I mean, the Mueller report just out says they actively meddled. I've also felt, though, that the, the Russian meddling was only successful to the point where it was playing on real fears or real divisions in American society, and the same thing here in Europe. When I listened to the uh, propaganda uh, from the far right, uh, dividing society, uh, pit pitting Christian versus Muslim, pitting uh, Poles versus uh, Germans and so forth. It's playing on real divisions within Europe uh, with disastrous effects. Now we see that um, uh, right radicals have quite a lot of chances to appear in the parliament and actually maybe create a majority. What is the role of Russia in, in, in this uh, success? Uh, do you think they... Do well, I think that fits, it certainly fits Russian uh, goals to divide Europe, to weaken the European Union. But it, Russia is only succeeding because it's playing on real uh, divisions within Europe. It's accentuating and exacerbating those feelings, but those feelings, unfortunately, uh, uh, what are we, 80 years after the end of World War II, are still there. Uh, where do you think the Russian propaganda is the strongest? Uh, which countries are the most vulnerable to, to its influence? Well, I think Russian uh, foreign policy in Europe has always been to divide, as I said. Um, it's always been more successful in places like Italy, which are not, don't have a, a sorry history with Russia. Uh, so that we do see that uh, you know, in places, I believe, like Lithuania, Poland, uh, very divided societies, but also very anti-Russian. And what are the main tools and methods in Europe? Do they differ from uh, Eastern Ukraine? No, not to my knowledge. I mean, they, I think there is a real effort to sow disaccord planting uh, uh, divisive issues, exacerbating anti-migrant feelings, exacerbating um, anti-establishment feelings, uh, dividing one European against another European um, uh, to, to weaken the European Union. But I think that uh, you know, the, we shouldn't overestimate Russian power or, or influence on these elections. I still think the broad center will hold and win a majority. If I look at issues like Brexit, where uh, Russia was very, very active, um, I, I would blame Rupert Murdoch and his uh, tabloids more than the Russian government. How, how she plays on it via uh, social media, via newspapers, via think tanks? Uh, what are the agents of influence? I think Russian television, which is RT, and it's especially powerful in places with Russian minorities in the Baltics and so forth, um, with Facebook bots and uh, other types. I mean, it's been pretty well documented in the Mueller report what went on uh, in St. Petersburg. On the other hand, I don't think that we should overestimate Russian power uh, to divide. And uh, Ukraine, for example, is still uh, independent as best I am, has not uh, had free and fair elections. and. I believe, as I said before, that a lot of uh, you know European media or uh, European, without any connection with Russia, are are uh, uh, sowing a lot of this discord because there are real deep-seated grievances within Europe. Uh, okay, now about social networks. We know that there are thousands of trolls who are sitting in social network. Uh, so uh, we've definitely seen a swing over the last decade from the idea that the, the internet promoted free expression and allowed everyone to, uh, to have their voice, uh, everyone to reach a global audience with just a few clicks on the keyboard. Um, and now we, we find uh, we don't like what they're saying and that there's a lot of hate that is spread, I think then fueled by Russian, uh, you know, uh, trickery, or, or, or uh, however you want to put it, but um, the tendency now is to tell the internet companies to crack down, to censor, to block, to filter, um, 
And I do believe that there is a uh, you know, real danger to, to free expression if we go too far in that direction. It, it would allow Russia to win if we, if we, if we decide that all of a sudden uh, we want governments to control and clamp down Chinese style or even Russian style on what goes on on the internet. And if they don't do, if there is no uh, threat that uh, the speech of hatred will occupy the whole informational space of Europe. Well, look, I, again, I don't think that you can t say that Russia creates these feelings. Russia promotes and, 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 and moves to s plant the seed or to, to uh, water the seed that's already there uh, and, and create that uh, division. Uh, it, among Europeans, among uh, inside nation states. It did it in America and it will do it in, in, in Europe. Um, and I, at the same time though, I believe, you know, the internet is just a tool they are using. They're using television as well. And we shouldn't overestimate its power because in the end, I think, you know, uh, look, I, w I covered the collapse of communism and when a system is built on lies, eventually, I hope, and I believe, it comes crashing down. And so Russian lies, I, I hope, still will not win the day.